Hot, 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 burning my fingers. Ah, hot, hot. What kind of uh, smoking fuel do I use, you may ask yourself, or ask me. <laughs> it's, uh, I just use pine needles. That's the best smoking fuel. The reason why I think it's the best, because it's right here. It's just, it's just uh, not even a walk away. The best smoking fuel is the kind that's closest to your bees. I, I use weeds, I use whatever I can find that will burn, get a good fire going. So I'm getting some coals built, so you just leave it going. Oh, again because this is the start of a video. Oh hi, welcome to Homestead Outlaw. I'm Dustin Dean and today we're going to extract honey and uh, just get the smoker lit. Um, like I said last video, I want to remind again in this video that I'm going to be screening trolls and um, I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to delete, uh, well not, de well delete your comment, your troll comment, and um, I'm going to also uh, not, not allow you to comment ever again. There's a way I can do that on my channel. And then I'm going to, uh, if I know that person, I'm going to tell people who the troll is. So FYI, for all, for all the local trolls, I'll expose you. With that said, let's get the show on the road. I got the smoker lit, and uh, this is uh, not hot. You can blow it on yourself, and which I do highly recommend because um, I don't like to use a bee suit. I've had people uh, that's upset some people. I don't use a bee suit. Um, it's called me moron, idiot, whatever. That might be true, but the reason why I don't wear a bee suit is because I get hot. I'd rather get stung and swell up and then sit here and sweat in the bee suit. I just hate the bee suit. I feel so rest restricted and confined and claustrophobic and I just hate it. So I'm not trying to be cool on YouTube with them guys. I, I truly do hate it. The, the last four months I haven't been on YouTube and I guarantee I never wore a bee suit one time. I check the bees all the time. Yeah, that's my dad. He'll tell you. I'm not lying, even when nobody's watching, I don't wear a bee suit. So it's not that I'm trying to look cool on YouTube. Although I often try to. Okay, so this is my, my dad's beehive. And uh, this is where we'll be getting the honey. This one should be pretty much empty. No, this one's full. This one's empty. Probably gotta... So, because I don't wear a suit, I use little tricks that I know to not get stung. Is um, there's lots of little tricks. I mean, there's lots like like right like uh, don't come with gas on your hands and fumes and sm or perfumes and things like that. Just the uh, more natural scent as you can possibly have is good. Matter of fact, uh, I even try to mask my scent. <coughs> with smoke. <laughs> That's good stuff. Oh, as I'm uh, explaining this, Shakara's getting nervous. She's like, oh crap, I shouldn't have uh, tried to make myself <laughs> smell good for Dusty today. Hey. Um, so, that's, you know, of course, I always use smoke. And then uh, another trick I do because I don't wear a bee suit is, um, I smoke them, and then I, you gotta wait a minute. You gotta wait a minute or two, guys. You can't just uh, um, come over here, puff them, and then just start rattling and opening it up because that's just gonna piss them off. And they haven't, they haven't had time to, to, um, I don't know, uh, get that that smoke panic out. Trust me, just wait a couple minutes. It'll be, it'll be much more gooder for you. T tell, tell them about the. Uh... The guards are right down at the bottom there that are uh, protecting the, the bee guards right here. Bee guards, yeah. Yeah, I think that's one right there. That's a that's what? a guard. And um, so they they guard the front entrance, and you you draw, you know try not to wave your hands in front of them and too much. And um, I I one of the tricks that I, I do when I work around bees is that um, uh, it's like defusing a bomb. Just think of it that way. And, and you don't want to bump one wire, because I often defuse bombs. That's what I like to do for my spare time, is build bombs. And, <laughs> is, uh, take, um, 
you know you don't want to bump a wire and blow yourself up well, so you, you got to work really small you know and uh, I watch TV I don't really don't build bombs I want to have FBI knocking on my door here <laughs> and uh, so <laughs> it's like uh, you just got to work slow with them for those of you that do wear bee suits and I hope you do you know <clears throat> Okay. Did you get stung? No, but one buzzed on my my hearing aid. <laughs> oh. oh. So I hope you guys do wear bee suits. You guys don't gotta be like me. So like I say, before I start ripping into hair, you just kind of crack open the top. Blow a little bit of smoke in. I've already done it down there, and um, I'm pretty sure I've overly smoked them already, uh, just because I'm demonstrating it. I usually don't try to over smoke them. You, know, you over smoke them, they can just leave. You know, they just, they, they'll, they'll be convinced that their whole hive is is on fire and just leave. So don't over smoke them. Just give them enough to to um, disrupt their communication, and also uh, they they kind of panic a little bit and. Blow their bellies full of honey and I'll just give them a second to uh, a minute or two. Because I forgot my hive tool, I got my dad's like a, it's like a chisel. <laughs> I'm always forgetting my hive tool. Always. I don't know. I just pocket knives work good too. But they have such good. Um, they have a lot of pine trees around here, and they take that uh, that sap off the pine trees. Ugh. So that's broken. Yeah, gotta replace that. Gotta replace that, huh? But I, I forgot to bring one with me. This is the one we want, huh? Yeah. This is the full one. This is the empty one down here to the lower. Okay. So, we'll set these girls over here. Let's try to smoke them down. I'm hoping, I'm hoping give them a quite a bit of smoke to flush them down. Did I bring my paintbrush with me? Okay, my dad's got the paintbrush. So, this is where the work starts. I'm already sweating. And the thing about it is, that's why I don't wear um, uh, bee suit. Because without a bee suit, Already sweating. Oh, pop breaking the seal. So these bees for for you new people and the bees, they they seal these up really good. It's like glue. On hot days, they come apart pretty good. On cold days, it's really hard to come apart. Now this this probably weighs 60 pounds, so I'm just trying to twist this a little bit. <coughs> A little bit of a distance from the from the bees. Well, we want the bees hot. They guys think hot. My dad's think it's shade, and uh, I don't blame them. But you gotta think. Um, got you want the uh, you want to work with the bees in the hottest time of the day because they're happier. Uh, that's another tip for working without a bee suit. Work at the hottest time of the day. A lot of people make a mistake and want to do it nice and cool, and uh, that, that's a mistake. Hive tool. Um, and then you want to keep your frames out kind of out in the sun too when you're um, extracting the honey because you want your honey to get hot so it flows out better. Keep it in the shade, it ain't going to flow very well. That's nice, mostly capped. This is the fun part. Now I need that.
So I'll just brush these girls off. Try to get them. Yeah, there's one. Hey, girl. Yeah. Careful, I'm gonna be. <sighs> you start to get so many um bees in the air that you, again, not wearing a suit, be sure you don't inhale a bee. You get stung in the throat. Take a soft paintbrush and just lightly um, get them off. So you can see this is uh, capped right there. It's all capped off. They've closed the holes of them octagon cells. Yeah, they've gotten. If 80% of it's capped, I'm happy with that. 80% is decent. And I haven't gotten stung yet. There's bees like all around you. I know. That's why you gotta. That's why you gotta be careful when you breathe. Mhm. Mm be careful when you don't breathe. Don't inhale a bee down your mouth. Because believe it or not, there's been beekeepers who've died. Well, they were actually, well, I know there's a, a guy up north, Salt Lake City, Utah, who um, wearing a suit, and he's wearing a, 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 a suit, his finger, and he got some honey on it, and he unzipped, and he goes to put it in his mouth, and there's a bee on the end of the honey, and he took that in his mouth, and it stung him in the throat. Of course, you know, when he gets stung, he swell. That's all capped wow. nicely. Pretty. These things might be bees right here. Just give them time to move out of the way. They really don't want to sting you. Um, they prefer not to. So uh, I can stick my finger in here and, and they'll, they'll move out of the way with my finger if I give them time to move out of the way. See that? They don't really don't want to sting you. So, so we had to move this out in the sun because. Uh, we're thinking, you know, work in the shade, nice and cool. Uh, but actually, as, as with bees, everything's hot. Everything's hot and sticky. You're always hot and sticky when you work with bees. Hands are always sticky, always sweating and hot. So we need to be out in the sun. So this sun hits this, warms this up, allowing the, the honey to drain down the sides. Otherwise, it's like molasses. It's, it's really slow, like cold molasses. So, see they fully cap that up. That's not bad, look at that honey leaking That's out there. beautiful. I gotta do it, sorry guys. Mm. Tastes like honey, it's good. This is my favorite way to, uh, to, to, to open this up. Some people take a knife and they'll just cut that off. Everybody has kind of a different way. My way is just a simple, I just scrape, scratch it. I just, I just scratch that caps off of that. Like so. Um, like I say, a lot of people have a lot of different ways. And uh, whatever, for, for the experienced people, I get that a lot. I get a lot of experienced people who will say, who will cr uh, criticize me. Well, that's fine. I don't mind constructive criticism. And, uh, but sometimes, like I say, I don't get that. I get you're a you're a dummy. That's about all they say. <laughs> <laughs> Here, look, that cell's already pretty much empty. Wouldn't you say, Dad? Yeah, they look like they are. This little spot right there. I can always come back and scratch that off and. Uh, That's pretty much empty. I, I did it so fast it made a pattern <laughs> in there. 
Ready? Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't have to do it as fast. You know what we ought to do? I wonder if you got a drill and hooked onto that. You know, that'd be a cool idea, because that'd fit, wouldn't it? Why wouldn't that fit? If you put a drill on there. You could. Let's do that. I think this is the first ever for extracting honey to use a drill for the It might not be a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. You don't go fast. I think it'd be best not to go fast. Hopefully. <laughs> Want to put some power to it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll work. Why wouldn't that work? Just don't go fast. I, it might ruin some. Let's go real fast. <laughs> um, cap that off, but I'll tell you guys the trick. If you go like this and it doesn't leak, it's pretty much good. Um, I see that there? Yeah. They didn't cap that off, but, but well, like you do the drip test, you shake that, and if it drains a lot, that was a bee. You drained a bee out of did there? Did you get stung? Yeah, I did. My heck. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all those right thousands there. of bees. <laughs> Another tip. <laughs> there could be a bee left in here. <laughs> I did. I got stung right there on the finger. Well, that's the worst. At least it's not on the face. Oh, a big middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw it. <laughs> Shake test. That's funny. I don't blame her. I would have stung me too. Yeah, do the shake test and if it's not leaking and, and you, you can extract that. Like I say, 80%. That's us all. This side's all capped. He's complaining. It's, it's, not that, uh, it's not that hot. I feel cool. Uh, <laughs> You're partly in the shade. Oh, that's the... <laughs> My dad, I, I teach my dad how to do this every single year. One of these, one of these years, he's going to learn and do it himself. <laughs> Many years down the road. <laughs> <laughs> will, you come, will you come show me how to do this again one more time? I, how did that? I can't I, remember. I forgot. He's smart like a fox. That's done, guys, already. So. Twice. Might want to stay back, okay? That's two stings today. Um, one was my fault. Should have tucked in my shirt. Oh, the other one's my fault. I should, you should look for B says before you start to... Oh, that's a lot easier. Guys, it's already itching. Look at that. It's my finger. I got stung on the finger. Oh, I can scrape that a little bit. Yeah. The scraper. Oh, my job just became much more pleasant for me. Couple little spots I missed. Get that settled in there. You're right, that does spin pretty fast. I spun that board out. Look at that. That'd be a bad deal. Yeah. You look slow, Dan. Huh? Kind of slow. Oh. That's way out of balance. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't be picky. We'll just do. Spin this around and get to the other side. And we're only talking just a little bit of honey. We can leave that for the bees, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get too greedy. Here we go. Think it's there. More in balance. Dusty Dean, you're a genius. <laughs> My mother-in-law once said that to me. Well, that's really impressive. I'm going to have to go hug my hive. 
gonna hug your hive? Have to hug my hive. <laughs> that is good. They did it. They outdid themselves. They did. <laughs> hey guys, uh, hey, you know, I had a lot of fun uh, uh, extracting the honey. I know I learned uh, quite a bit today. The bees have taught me a lesson, and um, every time I'll look at my middle finger, <laughs> it's funny, funny they hit that finger. <laughs> they hit my middle finger. It's already starting to, it's already starting to swell, itch, itches. Um, I'll be reminded to uh, uh, be more observant when uh, looking into my frames. I'll set this one aside for uh, TJ Miller, good friend of mine. Well, thank you for watching, and we'll hey, s what? I got more to say. What? You've learned a lot today. I did learn a lot today. But one thing you learned is how to get it done fast. Boy, you did it in a third the time <laughs> as you did the last time the we trail. did it. True idea was brilliant. Boy, you you did that in really quick order. That was it was a lot faster than we've ever extracted honey before. It went really it went really well this time. <laughs> I think last time was last year when we harvest. We was in the shade, right? And we had a hard time getting that honey to to um, run run. Oh, and we had to fire That's up. Right. Yeah, we had a blow dryer. We we're heating up the honey, and 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 then we had to fire up the stove. We we're taking the frames inside the house. It was just. Uh, it was a lot of work, but we stayed nice and cool. Yeah, you were cool. <laughs> Today was hot. Yeah, well, you did it so fast out in the heat, then you could come over into the shade and pour it into the bottle. That was relaxing. That was actually um, satisfying to uh, um, fill these these honey up. It was very satisfying. I enjoyed that. Um, I think, uh, how would you, did you tell me you're going to hug the hive? I'm gonna hug the hive. I told him, my dad kept saying, ah, these bees are doing good, I'm gonna hug the hive.